I don't want to do that, but LaSalle. All right, well, we turn the page to men's varsity eight right well, here. Watch this. I turned the page. What a beautiful shot. Yeah, you want to see some fast rowing? Now, these are heats. I believe they had the finals later in the, the day. Are they doing finals for this? So we're going to circle back around on all that as we head into the afternoon. So here's the rundown right now. You got Emory Brittle, West Point, Stetson, Trinity, and then your school, LaSalle. La Salle, LaSalle. Oh, is that Italian? La Salle. Oui. I mean, bonjour. No. LaSalle out ahead. Yes, folks, LaSalle is a favorite because I did go to school there. Drexel is a favorite for me because I did coach there. St. Joe's University is a is special. I, I root for them it, when they race. Uh, my dad was their coach for 13 years, and my older brother rode there for four years. Um, I, I root for a lot of folks. I love hearing about all your family, from your dad to your bro to you, all sharing in rowing. Yeah, we've, we've had fun. Um, and by the way, if you want to share in today's Connect Cup, you can always say, hey, we're on the socials. My socials is at Drew Forecast. We love shouting out New Zealand, Argentina, all different places around the world and across the U.S. It has been cool to hear from all of you and hear who you're rooting for. Look at this. LaSalle and Trinity. LaSalle out by half a length. And then Stet uh, Stetson about a three quarters of a length down on Trinity. Trinity's program up in Connecticut was, has always been very good. I remember being a little kid and my, my dad coaching. Here's the. We're just watching outside of our window right yeah, there. Where are they? Oh, they're no. further. Yep. But I remember uh, my dad, when he was coaching St. Joe's, taking the crew up to Trinity and the Trinity coach, making sure I got out to on a, in a launch, an official's launch, so I could watch the races. Um, same thing happened in Georgetown. All the, all the other coaches were very nice, very respectful of uh, my dad. And, uh, very nice to me as a child. It was well, you know what it is? Sometimes it just takes that when you're a kid to kind of have that connection. Then it's in the back of your head, and then look where you came and all that you've done with rowing both personally and as a coach over the years. Yeah, I, 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 I've enjoyed coaching. I still enjoy coaching. Um, it's just fun. It, it's fun to watch somebody go from not knowing how to row to doing something uh, uh, what's on your screen. Um, and I've been lucky to, to, to be involved in, in that. Um, but no, some of, the, some of the guys I've mentioned, I'm nowhere near that caliber of coach. Um, it's just, I mean, th this, is, this is just tremendous. Look at LaSalle just walking through, mm -hmm. 500 meters to go. Followed by Trinity. And if I can get my stroke coach. Stroke. I'm just impressed at the speed again of all these folks because with the drone moving and them moving at the same time, you're not going to feel for how they are just powering I through the river. I got 36. See, that gives the context to it. That is impressive. Trinity at 35. Stetson at 38. Wow. And once again, folks, I could be wrong. Don't but it gives you a feel, though. Don't tell my wife I said that. Jeez. <laughs> you admitted nothing. <laughs> but it gives you a feel of how fast these folks are moving. I mean, just keep them moving. Yeah. Look at the precision on this LaSalle crew. And when I mentioned earlier how I, 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 I'd been in so impressed with their technique when they were walk, rowing away from Boathouse Row, you have to consider that they were at a paddle. They weren't rowing hard, and that's much harder to make the boat set up. And by set up, I mean it doesn't rock from side to side. 
it goes down the course, even keel. There's over. Half a length open water over Trinity, and almost a length.